Welcome to the nursery. Today I'm going to give you a tour of our baby girl's nursery. So if you remember from maybe previous videos of mine, this room that I'm standing in used to be our guest room and it used to be painted this really beautiful, deep, dark, like blue, green, gray color. It was a really, really pretty color. I thought I was gonna keep it. Um, and then I kind of started like pulling inspiration for the room and I kept just wanting it to be like light and fresh and neutral and airy. And that color just didn't lend itself to the overall vibe that I wanted in this room. So we painted the walls or my husband painted the walls in here with one coat of some random color I picked and then I was like, oh my gosh, this is like full on pink, like baby pink. And I was like, how did I not? <laughs> like I tested it on the wall in here and stuff and it was like baby pink. It wasn't really my jam. Uh, didn't really want this to be like a super girly room. I actually unintentionally feel like it turned out like very gender neutral. Um, so we scratched that paint. That was right before we left for our baby moon. And it was like a hot mess in here <laughs> while we were gone. So when we got back from Hawaii, I picked a new paint color for the walls in here. And I kind of pulled inspiration from this photo behind me, which is a photo I took when we went to Joshua Tree like about a year ago or so now. I just really loved like the tones and the vibe of that photo. So that was definitely like a jumping off point for the design of this nursery for me. So the color on the walls in here is Benjamin Moore Gray Owl. I really like the color in this room specifically. It kind of pulls a light like green to it, which I really, really love, but it's, a, it's essentially like a gray color with like a little base of green and blue. And it kind of just depends on how the lighting is in the room or maybe what you add to the room that kind of pulls the different colors out of this specific color gray. But I think it works really, really well for a nursery, a gender neutral nursery. What I found when I started like kind of pulling things into this room when it was a super dark color is I felt like I had to go with every like item in here to be super neutral or like white or like a super light gray because the walls were so overpowering. And as I started adding like these fun things that I'd get for the baby's room here, like either books or like this really beautiful mobile. Um, it just felt like it was just like too many colors going on. So that's why I ended up painting it. Still love that color. Would totally paint like another room in my house that color because it was so pretty. It was lead gray by Benjamin Moore was the old color in this room. So like I said, the main inspiration for this room was like a really light, airy, kind of like natural feeling space. And my jumping off point was this photo behind me that is kind of like the focal point in the room. So the crib was one of the first things that I bought when I was pregnant, like actually really early on being pregnant. Um, I searched kind of like high and low for a crib that I actually liked. I wanted something that was like fairly minimal that was essentially timeless and had like a bit of a mid-century modern vibe to it because we live in a 1950s home. I like to kind of keep it true to the heritage of the home in my decorating, um, but I do love kind of that like earthy, beachy, like modern farmhouse vibe. So like kind of pulling that all together into one space. I found this crib from All Modern. I really like that the bottom part is wood with like kind of the tapered mid-century modern wood legs and then the actual crib part itself is white. So for the styling in this room, I'm keeping it really, really simple because I feel like there's just more stuff that's going to end up in this room over time as babies and children grow and they get more things and all that kind of stuff. So I try to keep it like pretty minimal and pretty simple in here so that there's definitely like room for growth in the space. Probably one of my favorite parts or like pieces in this room is this adorable uh, elephant hamper that I got, I put on my registry and I got from one of my girlfriends and it is honestly like the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. You'd never guess that it was <laughs> from Home Depot but it's so stinking cute. I just love it. So the dresser in here used to be our dresser in our master bedroom. We replaced that one and moved the 
vintage one in here. What's nice about it is it fits the scale of this room because this room's uh, smaller than our like master bedroom. And the height is um, really good for me for like making it a changing table. I'm short, I'm like five feet tall, so uh, I didn't want to get like, so many of the new dressers are really tall. And so the vintage one works really well in this space. Plus it adds a lot of like character because there's a lot of new items in here. I always think it's important to like mix in, throw in a little like vintage to keep a space feeling really like cohesive and not too perfectly styled. So the dresser is obviously used for actual storage in the drawers. And then on top of the dresser, uh, instead of having like a separate changing table space, we are using the top of the dresser for a changing table. And then to the left of the dresser is kind of hidden in the corner is the diaper pail. Then above the dresser is a round rattan mirror that I picked up a while ago from Target. I want to do something round or sculptural above the dresser because I feel like it helps break up kind of all the you know, straight angular lines that um, are kind of happening in the room with the crib and like books are square and the dresser square and the chair is very like kind of modern and square. So the round mirror kind of helps to like visually break up all the squares. To the right of the crib over here is kind of like the nursing, reading, just kind of nook area. So I picked up a rocking chair or it's like a glider recliner which was really important for Joel. I don't know if you remember from an old video of mine I went uh, to a, like thrifting with my sister and I found this really cute um, chair that I thought we would use in the nursery as like the rocking chair. Joel wasn't really into it and that's totally okay. He made like a lot of good points about <laughs> having something that was like a glider and fit him a little bit better and anyways I'm still keeping that chair and getting it reupholstered and putting it somewhere else in the house. But what we have in here is a glider recliner from All Modern. And it's a perfect size for this space. It's really minimal, it's simple. Some of the gliders out there are super big and chunky. And I wanted to keep it very like refined and simple. And I feel like it's something that could go in another place in our house um, when we don't necessarily need a recliner for a baby in this room. So I feel like it's something that can kind of grow with our space and grow with us. One of my favorite things um, in this room, well, there's a couple of favorite things I've <laughs> said already, but I love the Shipwrecks Beach um, kind of like artwork piece right next to this little cozy nook we have in the corner um, because Joel and I picked it up on our baby moon to Kauai because we stayed right on Shipwrecks Beach for most of our trip and really loved Kauai. It was absolutely beautiful. And then right next to the glider is just a little round um, kind of end table thing. If you take the top off you can actually put like stuff in there and store things inside. So it's nice to have obviously like a surface to set something down like a water bottle or just anything <laughs> next to you when you're breastfeeding and or just you know hanging out with baby in the chair there. And then um, kind of tucked behind that is this cute basket that I got a long time ago from um, like a local, our actual our state fair here, um, and it's like a woven basket. And I filled that with um, some more of her stuffed animals that she got. And then on top of the side table, I have a plant because I feel like a room just isn't complete without some sort of like greenery, something alive in the space. And then off to the right of the glider are two DIY like bookshelf display shelves that Joe and I built. And there's so many beautiful baby books and just children's books in general so it's really fun way to display something as well as have like a functional shelf in the room so that you can see the books and grab them and read <laughs> to your baby. And then kind of sprinkled in to some of the books on the shelf are a few like trinkety things that either Joel and I picked up from travels or just like little things that are special and important to us. These shelves were really easy to make and I followed um, a guide from A Beautiful Mess, um, which I'll leave a link down below. And then the last space in this room would be the closet. So we have a drawered Ikea unit at the bottom filled with a few items that are just like, you know, things you gotta have for a baby. <laughs> And then obviously her clothes, and then there's some storage up top on the shelves. And then to kind of cozy up and ground the entire space, we added an 8x10 rug to this room. I found this rug actually from Target. It was an 
incredible deal. And um, it's really soft, it's really neutral, but it adds like a pattern element that isn't too graphic or overpowering. It's very like relaxed and kind of muted. So I think it really pulls the whole space together and grounds it and it makes for like a really soft, cozy um, surface for the baby to kind of hang out on or like, you know, when you're like in here in the middle of the night doing feedings or whatever it is, it's like cozy and soft on your feet because our whole house is hardwood floors. And I just feel like it really helps to kind of finish out the space and ground the space. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed watching this nursery tour as well as I have a lot of other videos that I've shared kind of through my pregnancy journey. I know most of my channel really focuses more around like interior, simple living, capsule wardrobes, kind of minimalism, but it's been fun to bring you guys on this journey of pregnancy and this new venture in to motherhood, which is obviously different for me because this is our first baby. <laughs> But we're so excited and I can't wait to continue to share some bits here and there, but I also um, continue to do what the mainstay of my channel is, which is kind of like the simple living vibe. So I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I will see you guys in my next one. And yeah, that's about it. Check the description box down below for sources for items as well as a link to the blog post with lots of photos um, and sources for this room. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!